We're gonna go ahead and pull some cards specifically for Twin Flames, for the Twin Flame Collective to see what is going on for the Divine Feminine, what is going on for the Divine Masculine. Today is a powerful day as our sun in Pisces is sextile Jupiter and Taurus. And this is like a fated alignment. This is something that is fated to happen as are some things in your life. This is bringing a powerful energy as we have a lot of dreams coming to the surface, romance, love, and even lucky shifts around your finances that are happening today. So expect a lot of healing in your love life and positive sudden shifts, especially as it's the first day of March and we're getting ready for the 3-3 pore hole. March is bringing a big burst of energies, higher frequency energies that we're adjusting to, and they're going to bring some very positive shifts into your love life. We're going to go ahead and do a reading specifically for Twin Flames. Now let's start with the Divine Feminine to see what is going on. If you guys are in separation, expect shifts and coming back together, not for everyone, but for many twin flames if they're doing the work you'll probably come back together in march if you're in union you're going to anchor into much higher union timelines together with your twin flame too it's going to bring some powerful shifts for those that are in union twin flame serve as a powerful beacon of light for the collective we have a lot kind of going on We're going to start with the Divine Feminine as usual. Tap into today's energies. They're great for healing. You may have things that are, they're bringing you like a destined energy. Your twin flame is a destined connection as well too. Now, separation can be caused by creating distance in the connection. This could be from one or both twin flames. Sometimes this is for the healing work or avoiding the healing work as well too. So it just kind of depends on your situation as to how you're doing and how, of course, your divine partner, your twin flame is doing on the other end of that too. If they're putting the work in, you will come back together. If they're avoiding the healing work, might not be seeing such results right now. It just kind of depends on your own individual situation. We're going to start though with the reading for the Divine Feminine, the Divine Feminine Collective. If you're the Divine Masculine, take this as messages directly from your Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine to Masculine. I wanna hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. This is where things get physical as well too. You might be missing them, craving their energy, missing their presence, and wanting that physical contact as well too. Like this is where, for those of you guys that are in separation, you're gonna be very much missing your twin flame as the three three is a powerful pore hole for twin flame alignment too. So in separation, you know something is missing as well too. So especially if you're in separation too. I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes when I offer you my hand? Will you take it? This is love offer. This is expressing your feelings, getting clear on your feelings. Usually what happens, separation can happen for many different reasons, but sometimes there's the longing that happens between twin flames. And this is why sometimes it gets very, very intense. If your twin flame has got hot and cold, it's not what you think. It's actually because they have such strong feelings for you. They're having a hard time integrating them. But this can sometimes cause distance or separation issues. Divine Feminine is clear about what you want. Make sure that you're manifesting it. Make sure that you're focused on union if you're in union make sure you're focused on the union that you want and the goals that you have in life what you think you're creating right now very fast within these high frequency energies make sure that you're staying positive and going after your goals today's energy is all about your inner vision your dreams your goals and going after bigger with your life too your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. Sometimes if there's a lack of communication or no communication, the person that isn't speaking, I say silent treatment, or doing this, they're actually afraid to be rejected themselves. So they're doing it, right? And this doesn't always make sense to me. This is out of core abandonment issues from childhood and a need to heal their inner child as well too. This means that they weren't having their needs met as a child and they have a hard time communicating and speaking up. This could even mean emotional immaturity as well too just kind of depends on your situation of how things are going sometimes they're triggered as well too and needing to look at those triggers just kind of depends on the situation as well too that's why i always say do my twin flame readings on my website because everyone is in a different situation as well too and this is going to help you no matter what is going on with the healing work because twin flame is going to trigger a lot of healing work and speed up your ascension process 
and even clearing energy process. Make sure you're doing energy clearings on my website. will help you a ton with shifting things. Oftentimes, if you are in a separation, it's needing to raise up your vibrational frequency to that of union or to your union timelines. Make sure you're doing energy healing activations. This will help you a ton with shifting into higher union timelines or even shifting into union. I do twin flame coaching on my website. Great for everyone, no matter what your situation, especially if you want to dive deeper into your healing as well too. I take you through some of the things that come up specifically for twin flames. Great for working you from separation and into union too. Just kind of depends on your situation. So make sure you're checking out my twin flame section on my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com. Time passes, but my feelings don't change even though you're no longer trust me with your heart. And so your partner might have avoidance issues, trust issues, a hard time opening up, a hard time being vulnerable, a hard time showing that side of themselves as well too, or even expressing their emotions that's coming up in this as well too. And so this is Divine Feminine has been really in their feelings. This is Pisces season. It's supposed to be romantic. Like, yeah, like love story movie vibes, right? Romance, writing a new chapter to your love story. It's supposed to be all of those really, really good things. But it's also about getting in touch with your feelings and your emotions and getting more clear on how you feel. Especially, we have a lot of themes coming up around your love life right now because that's what we're literally here on planet Earth for during this time. Divine Feminine is getting clarity energetically and on your feelings and how you feel about this person. You're going to know who your one is. You're going to know who this person is as well too. Pay attention to these things that are coming up. But we have other things that have come up in this connection too. All right, so we have inner child wounds and this can cause a lot of issues in adult relationships and it doesn't matter. It just kind of depends on where your core wounds lie as well too. So we have this inner child and this is like you didn't get your needs met in childhood, so oftentimes you're not knowing how to either meet your needs yourself or you're attracting unavailable partners who aren't meeting your needs. And this might be playing out and affecting your twin flame situation too. Your past relationships or even your childhood might be affecting your twin flame union or delaying it, putting blocks in it or bringing up extra healing because this is the shadow side. This is your twin flame is showing you different things about yourself as well too. They're going to reflect back different challenges, issues, and things that you need to face as well too. It's amazing in that love bubble when they show you all the good stuff about yourself and then later they might be bringing up more work and things that you need to heal or work on as well too. So this is where the shadow work comes in, healing your inner child, healing your attachment style, healing your attachment wounds. Oftentimes your twin flame is triggering these uh, things unconsciously because they might hold the other end of these patterns. It's about becoming aware of your own patterns and your partner's patterns and how these things may be interacting or even creating a mismatch in the dynamic. Okay, so we have unrequited, unexpected outcomes. Things didn't go the way I planned. And this is kind of how life is as well too. But this is like a positive message where it doesn't matter your situation. You can shift it and you're meant to shift it. But this is how you'll see if this person is meant for you as well too. If you're in separation and they're not coming back, they might not be made for, meant for you. If you're doing the work, they most certainly will come back and match that frequency as well too. So if you're changing your frequency and changing your energy, this person will come back to meet you there and to match the healing that you've done and even match your frequency as well too. This is things have not gone as planned and they're gonna go kind of differently than you expect as well too. Make sure that you're holding the faith in this situation as well too. Inseparable, our love is always there despite the distance. And so sometimes you're seeing on an energetic level that this is an energy connection. Even if you think that you're in separateness, right? We're all connected, but you're even more connected with your twin flame on a spiritual and a soul level and that you're probably feeling this energy around you. You might be feeling warm tingles, connecting with your higher self, getting messages, getting downloads. If you're in a separation, pay attention to the guidance that you're doing and what you're being guided to heal and work through so that you can come back into union because the universe is very much gonna try to guide you together with this person, whether you haven't met your twin flame or you've met them and you're in a separation or if you're in a union and you're kind of diving deep into what to heal to come into a smoother, more harmonious he, uh, union as well too. Okay, so we have things that are coming up on the divine feminine side. We have addictive patterns, right? This is ways that you might have your own unhealthy traits and toxic things that you need to work on. 
This could be obviously alcohol, but it also could be unhealthy attachment style in your relationships. It could be codependency. It could be energetic kind of issues as well too, um, where if you're either giving too much for your partner or get, you know taking too much from your partner, there's meant to be an even flow of energy as well too. This could be alcohol. This could be cigarettes. These could be things that you're doing that are not good for you. This could be sabotaging behaviors, blocks, things that are unhealed within yourself that are throwing off your relationships. Maybe you've had relationship patterns of the past and you haven't healed the issues and you're kind of trying to bring them into the new because this is like past patterns a lot of your patterns you picked up from your family line and even childhood and things like that healing your root chakra coming up this shift this will help you if you're having trust issues in your relationship having issues come up in your relationship it will help you to become more secure more stable with your entire chakra system as well too it also will help you with your light body and light body activations that we're going through during this time too. really connect with your root chakra go back heal it this will help you to release ancestral and family patterns. This is a big part of healing from twin flame as well too, is releasing the family patterns, dynamics, and family karmas as well too. Okay, so we have ego things coming up. And this is like, I was telling myself this morning, like ego does not go overnight. Your whole life has been a process to get you to strip away layers of it. When you're really, really strong in the ego, you're strong in the conditioning. As you open up and release it, you're going to be able to come into a healthy relationship because relationships never work when it's all about one person or the other. And this is like, you guys have to come together. <laughs> you're going to have to make sacrifices. You're going to have to actually compromise to do love, right? And kind of come together as that unit. It's not just all about one or the other, right? It's kind of meeting in the middle as well too. So this is like stripping away layers of ego. Basically, we're talking about stripping away layers of fear, conditioning, and negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs that are no longer serving you and are limiting you anyways. Your twin flame may come along and challenge some of these limitations as well too. They may be different than you expect. They may not be your usual type. They might push your buttons. They might trigger you and kind of get you to expand in certain ways and to see past your own ego beliefs and limitations. So we have, once again, crown chakra coming up. Some of you guys are in separation and you might feel like by yourself, single, isolated, lonely, guarded. Make sure that you're living life to your fullest and enjoying life. This will help you to attract your twin flame back into your life as well too. Because if you're in that like sad, <laughs> right? I go can't live without you energy. It's never working. Get out there. Have fun. Actually live life, right? You're going to create a positive charge and a positive energy. Some of you guys are in that space if you are to heal codependent past dynamics so that you can learn to be really, really in your own energy, in your own energy field and to work on it. Make sure you're recharging your soul energy right now. Recharge your life force. Get outside into nature, do healing sessions, right? Really charge yourself back up as well too, especially if you've been through a lot in the past, traumas, things a lot in the twin flame connection that you're needing to heal from or to regenerate from. We're like in this energy of regeneration, right? Healing ourselves, becoming more whole and full on our own as well too. Oftentimes though, you guys have gotten a glimpse of this union. You didn't just go into separation. First you did that, you know, love bubble, met the twin flame, and then you go into the separation because this is, I always call it the carrot that's meant to make you motivated to do the work and to do the healing work, knowing you can come back together with this person as well too. But you're probably gonna go through layers of disbelief, don't believe it, don't know what's happening, because it's hard for your ego to make sense of this process. That's why I always say it's really beneficial to get someone to help you with this process that understands it really good, right? And can help you through this process as well too. Don't just stay in these states of separateness. Make sure you're shifting out of it. You might have karmic things coming up. This could be legal matters. Some of you guys, not everyone, just take what resonates, might have divorces going on, might have court stuff, um, might have judgment in many different ways. It could be karma coming up to clear through partners, friends, things like that, third parties. Just kind of depends on what's going on. And it is like the spiritual awakening judgment, right? We pass through these layers of awakening as well too. It's atoning for past karma. If you have karma owed out, it's gonna be coming up heavy in these energies as we're kind of being pushed to clear more faster as well too. Some of your karma is simply patterns come from your family line or it could be things from previous relationships or previous things that you've been through as well too, kind of cycling through. So we do have this karmic energy that you're being guided to heal any type of karmic energy going on. 
I thought I could detach. Being a part only makes the connection even more intense. If you guys are in a true twin flame connection, you will know it because you won't be able to stop thinking about this person. You won't be able to stop missing them. You'll try to move on, but you're not able to because your soul keeps bringing you back to it as well too. And so it's impossible to detach. You can try to, you can try to put it out of mind. Maybe you're having to because of circumstances, but this person is always gonna be on your mind. This will be shown to you through dreams, signs, messages. In fact, your twin flame will be sending you a lot of signs, synchronicities and things like that as well too, from the higher as well too. So their higher self is always trying to reach out to you, especially in separation to get you back on track. The separation and because you started to treat me like a karmic partner. Oh my God, that's big too because I keep talking about this where my twin flame had done certain things with their past partners and tried to do them to me, right? Sorry, I laugh at that, right? So um, this is like the karma of it. These are patterns. They're deeply ingrained. They're how you respond to certain situations. And I think that that's the problem too. If like, say, because this is for the other person, your divine masculine might have tried to treat you like they would anyone else or a karmic, or they might not have understood the nature of the relationship, or they might have acted out negative patterns, programs, or bad behavior on you as well too. And this stuff doesn't work with twin flame, as you see. So this is like something has happened in a very karmic way between both of you, karmic energies. Now keep in mind, every relationship is karmic, especially twin flames, because they're gonna push you to look at your own patterns, programs, things that you've been doing for a really long time. And it's different with twin flames because it can be even more painful when things go off. I work with so many twin flames that tell me all of these stories of what has happened and what's going on. And oftentimes it can get very, very karmic as well too. It just kind of depends as well too. So this is your divine masculine is in karmic energies. However, that's played out with you because it has, it's involved you. This is coming up once again, these kind of karmic energies. They could have been stuck in karmic situations, living in the past, or as it says, treating you as a karmic. I felt bad about how this went. I wish I could turn the clock back and do things differently. This is divine timing too, where some of you guys are like, I wish I could have known what I know now. Just remember that if in separation, it brings certain healing and breakthroughs that your soul must do on its own as well too. I know we all want the union part of the journey that comes but oftentimes you're needing to go deep within these layers of self and your own soul, whether you're purging out your own inner darkness, healing different things, or realizing certain things through the lessons that are coming to you. Trust me, we were fated to meet and I am your destiny. So we have themes today, specifically with destined love, fated things that are gonna happen. We're getting ready for eclipse season two. That'll shift you even closer together with your destiny. If you're a twin flame, that is your destiny too. So just pay attention to what the next couple of months is gonna bring for your situation because it's gonna bring big inner shifts and big outer shifts as you're making those inner shifts and healing as well too. You are fated and destined to be with this person. I always say fated love is where you've fallen in love with the same person across every single lifetime. This is a powerful soul connection. Five of swords in reverse. This is having a peaceful resolution to your situation, moving in peace, ending of conflict and overcoming challenges. If you haven't been getting along with this person, because this is the masculine as well too, they just want peace, they want to resolve this. If there's not a lot of communication, they're trying to figure out how to approach you and what to say to you or how to heal things. And maybe they're needing to do with that with themselves as well too. So we do have a representing of you know, an ending to this, because right now we have the hangman in reverse, but this is like things not moving. This is, once again, your masculine might be trying to distract themselves, avoiding reality and ignoring their feelings and negative patterns. And it's impossible to avoid your feelings. So we know that when people avoid their feelings, they experience more triggers, anger underneath it all. Um, I talk about avoidance. If they're avoiding you, like not a lot of movement, they're avoiding their emotions and their feelings for you because they're feeling very, very intense. And this is impossible, right? We're emotional beings. So this is like maybe avoiding doing the work and things like that. If there's lack of communication, they're in their feelings. They might be, they're probably depressed, anxious, um, and kind of going through a lot of emotions right now. So you might feel like things are not moving forward. This is due to karmic patterns that are coming up and needing to heal certain things. This is, you know, this is codependency, feeling powerless and materialism. And this is for both. 
they're feeling powerless over your situation. There's been a lot of karmic patterns that have come up within this. And so it's making both not really, really feel good. It might be the whole situation of it, how things are played out too. This is letting go of the negative stuff within the connection somehow. We have the star in reverse. I know we had this yesterday. It's not having faith in fate and limited beliefs, not trusting in yourself. You're needing to work on your solar plexus, your self-esteem and your self-confidence. Some of this is from the past as well too. And then this is gonna make you feel a lot better too, right? Your inner shine. Time to work on restoring your inner shine and your energy right now. This will help you open up your belief system right now. You have a lot of limiting beliefs that are blocking your love life and even your twin flame situation. Time to release these things. When you guys go into the separations and you do these awful purges, everything comes to the surface. And it wasn't being triggered by your twin flame. They were already subconscious beliefs, ideas, and programs that were running that were keeping you very limited. We're coming out of a limited 3D reality and into a 5D one. So you're needing to open up your belief systems and purge out the ones that are blocking your union, any negative thoughts. We have the Hermit energy. This is time to take some alone time, introspection, spiritual enlightenment, inner guidance, and retreat from the daily grind. You're being guided to really focus on yourself during this time and your healing literally on your spiritual awakening on healing certain things on your twin flame union doesn't matter if you're in union or you're in separation you're being guided to work on this twin flame is quite the journey that you're on that's why they call it a journey too you're most certainly meant to end up in union but there's certain work that needs to be done as well too that you might be figuring out there's certain things that you need to heal to come into that. So you're being guided to take time and spend time by yourself right now, Divine Feminine. This might be a little bit different for you, maybe not. For those that have been in hermit mode a little too long, time to get out and live life. If you guys haven't been awake that long, time to focus on your spiritual awakening. You might have a lot of new things to learn and implement been awake for a while you should be like getting good at this right but there's still things that need to be healed so we have a lot of ego blocks and negative beliefs that have been blocking your love life negative views of it if you've been viewing things negatively time to shift these to more positive now we're going to go ahead and do a reading specifically for the divine masculine collective to see what is going on for the divine masculine collective if you are the divine feminine, take these as direct messages from your masculine to you. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. They want to make something of themselves. They might feel limited or stuck in circumstances, challenges, situations, narrative, old narratives and things like that. They are very drawn to you and your energy. It could be what you have, what you're doing with your life, your job, right? Whatever you're about. They were very drawn to you on that level too. I always talk about kind of having those complementary pieces as well too. This is someone that's meant to be doing mission and soul work with you on some type of level. Oftentimes twin flames will go on to be readers, psychics, healers, teachers. They do all sorts of things together as well too. Your gifts are very complementary, you'll notice. This is why a lot of times twin flames meet around the job or have similar jobs or vocations or things that you guys are kind of about. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. They're sitting around and they're thinking of the past. They're stuck on it and they're feeling your energy in the spiritual. They're feeling your higher self around them as well too, right? Goes to the past. They haven't been able to let go of it. And they're thinking about you a ton and they're thinking about the good times as well too. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do what you still want me? They have hardcore rejection, abandonment wounds, just like you may have have in childhood or you guys may have triggered in each other. It just kind of depends on your situation. They want to contact you, but they don't want to face that rejection or how they're feeling from it too. They want to make sure that you still want them. They might be testing the waters, trying to see what you're doing. If you're on social media, they're trying to watch you, see what, what you're doing with your life or if you miss them or if you want them back, in fact, if you're not together. They've had to heal a lot of inner child wounds and rejection wounds themselves. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. Things that you said, Divine Feminine, kind of stuck in their mind and it was too much for them too. It might have added to the distance, adding to the rift. All right, so we have this energy 
of toxic codependent relationships of the past on the masculine side third party energy some of them have other people or they're trying to talk to other people but they're not able to replace you they'll find when they try to go down these paths a lot of people do they try to date right they're like fine i'll go find someone else right and they'll they'll usually be guided back to you like it won't go good too but this is like this is the twin flame energy of it where they're figuring out that you're their twin flame and this could be through certain dynamics too of the past and they hold past wounds from these kind of people as well too so we have this someone might have interfered in your situation this could be karmic players i call them right people who come out of the woodwork to try to divide you test you right and things like that could be ex-partners friends family other things like that kind of going on as well too so they have this third party interference energy where maybe they haven't done as much karmic clearing work or they have other people around that are interfering as well too and then some of this stuff isn't good from their past as well too. So this could even be karmic or past people from their past that they dated that are still around or that they're attached to, keyword attached, or hanging around or things like that. But this is a twin flame connection. There is a soul contract between you and there's a past life contract. That means however it's playing out, it's meant to on some type of greater level for the healing and the soul growth. And it can be hard to understand for the ego. This was a faded connection you were meant to meet and you most certainly will meet again in this lifetime too and in every other lifetime, right? Sometimes we forget that as well too, that this is a destined connection. This is meant to be. And there are things about this that are predetermined, but it wasn't time. Something was off with the timing. It could have felt like impossible. You couldn't sync up or something was off. It just wasn't time yet as well too, or it hasn't all come together sometimes with these messages. And um, this could have you know, led to a lot of frustration this person is trying to detach from this connection they're trying to clear their mind but they can't and they're trying to cut the connection with you and they found that they can't as well too this might have damaged the connection too that there's been things that have been said there's a, both of you are hurting whether you are expressing that in different ways you know these are soul wounds that have come up from it that there's a lot of hurt in the connection there's a lot of negative energy in the connection from things said how things played out maybe it didn't quite come together or fit together at that time confusing people there's distance in this connection even separation these are boundaries this could be um you know we talk about too much boundaries, putting too much distance, controlling things, right? There's a lot of distance in this connection. This indicates separation that's happening, not a lot of contact, not a lot of communication. This person is in this pity party, <laughs> not funny. Solar plexus energy of feeling like you don't care about them or the connection anywhere. Maybe they feel that you've moved on or that you can easily move on from this connection, but we know this isn't true. They're feeling that lack of your energy and unappreciated. They're trying to move on to this new beginning energy and into a new chapter, but they're finding it impossible because they're missing you a ton. They're still in this hurt energy over whatever's happened. This journey was for us to find our way back to each other. You're always meant to find each other again and again. There's billions of people on the planet, but only one that you will resonate with in that way. And you're going to feel that energy when you guys come together as well, too, of the strong energetic connection as well, too. So knowing that you'll find your way back to each other, that you always do. I will wait for you. There's no one else. And so this is important too, whether this person that we talked about trying to move on and date and they find they can't, or they're just sitting there waiting. <laughs> like I see that with so many twin flames. They're just sitting there waiting for you, whether waiting for you to heal certain things or waiting for you to make a move or waiting till they feel ready. It's like the waiting game. This person knows that we will be together once fully healed. They have it in their heart that you guys can heal more and make this happen as well too. They might be in a space of healing or giving you space to heal as well too. I'm telepathically connecting to you all of the time. When you think of your twin flame, you're gonna, they're gonna, um, when you think of your twin flame, you're gonna pop into their mind. When you can't get them out of your head obsessively, they're thinking about you all the time. <laughs> like there's this telepathic link but they're also getting your thoughts. Make sure you're staying positive with your thoughts. You're communicating at a higher level. Sometimes the separations are to teach you the importance of the connection. It's the seven of pentacles and it is your divine masculine. This is waiting for results, hard work about to pay off. This person is manifesting you. They're waiting on something. Their manifestations, money to materialize, things they've been you know, working on. They're tending their garden and their seeds. 
they might be building something as well too this is a pentacle energy it's all about money there might be some type of obstacle with money or block when it comes to money if they were putting money ahead of you this could be family money jobs other focuses above you like this stuff's kind of coming out during this time we have five of pentacles. This person isn't doing good financially. They're struggling. This is temporary hardship, negative changes, feeling left out in the cold, bad luck, adversity, missing someone, breakup, rejection, and job loss. This is like they're struggling financially. They're struggling with this. If there's a separation as a breakup, this is not your normal breakup. They're feeling left out in the cold, especially if they think you're doing good and they're suffering or things like that. So this is also my one of my favorite cards because it can represent the hard winter and then it's turning back to the spiritual. They might be left out in the cold because they haven't been working enough on their spiritual practices because we have this church energy right there where these people are freezing on the street and can open up the doors to the spiritual anytime too and this will solve a lot of your problems. So this might be causing a lot of pain and grief. They might feel that you've rejected or abandoned them or they feel badly about rejecting you and pushing away the divine in doing so as well too. So we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Once again, a lot of money cards coming up for the masculine. This is like where you're juggling too much. They're doing too much. They're putting their focus everywhere. Scattered energy. This person might have a lot of air placements. Just kind of depends. Or maybe they've been going about, around like this and making things work, but having a hard time. Maybe people don't know that. Maybe they do. They're having a hard time juggling their finances and making things work. We see that on the planet during this time. I was talking about prices going up <laughs> this morning, right? Oh my God. And I was like, you know, for basic things, the people are having a harder time just kind of, you know, making things work. So this is why we got to get back to the basics and into a more spiritual lifestyle to handle some of the changes that are coming too. So their money is like up and down. They might be kind of struggling and kind of barely making it work. And we have nine of pentacles in reverse. And this is like lack of independence, getting rich quick schemes, being lazy, instability, immaturity, lack of confidence and freedom. And they might be wanting freedom over love, right? Like, I don't know why. It's like, I don't know why people think that you can't have both as well too, because you can love in that free way. But this is like, also, this person might be a little bit immature when it comes to you, the divine feminine, because this is the divine feminine energy, but this is blocked. There's something blocked in the connection. There's something blocked between you both, because this is a beautiful pentacle energy with the divine feminine who might be flowing and this person might be a little bit emotionally stunted immature or trying to switch their emotions off because we talked about that as well too just kind of depends and this might be blocking their finances once again this is a backwards finance card as well too so if this person has tried to suppress you shut you out or there's a lot of distance between you they might be feeling that in many areas of their life especially financially and energetically where they're feeling you know left out in the cold as i said before with all of this and not flowing as they should be as well too because when they're around you and your energy they're really really flowing good and feeling good and when they disconnect they're not feeling so hot they don't have that same flow they might be laying around a little more they may be lazy they may be in bed a little bit they might be struggling in other areas of their life as well too so divine masculine being guided to really connect with your solar plexus and your sacral chakra to heal your sacral heal your finances Heal your solar plexus, allow the energies to release and to heal those emotions from your solar plexus, and you're going to feel a lot better. All right, I'm going on that note, but have a beautiful day. If you need me, just go ahead and book me on my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com. Have a beautiful day. Great day to check out the healings I have on there.